Now let's add a parts list. All I have to do is click parts list under the bomb group and I can place a parts list in the drawing. The parts list takes all the components from the model workspace, numbers them, and grabs all the property information for each component. If you want to modify the part number or the description, you can go back into the model workspace and change the property info. Now I'll add some annotative balloons to indicate which item is which on the model. If I click balloons under the bomb toolbar, I can then simply click any component in the drawing in any view and I'll get a balloon indicating which item number associates with that part. Now let's look at the annotation settings, which are located down here at the bottom. You'll see I can choose to change the annotation font, annotation text height, and the dimension precision. These settings affect all text and dimension annotation in the drawing, unless you modify an individual dimension's properties. Next to annotation settings is drawing sheet size, where I can change the size of the drawing. If you want to change the default settings, you can go to the User Profile drop-down in the top corner, select Preferences, and go to Drawing. If you want to override the projection angle, or change any of the other defaults, you can do that here. However, note that any changes made in these preferences will only take effect in future drawings. To populate the title block, all you have to do is double-click the title block, and then enter your text. When you're ready to share your drawing, you can output it as a DWG to export it to AutoCAD, or you can create a PDF and save it locally.